So how is the how is Cementis then deployed? What's kind of the infrastructure, the moving pieces, um, in, in, and where is it running on? Maybe you can make a little drawing. And, and how is it all working together? Yeah, let me let me show you that part. So if you if you start with a data scientist, uh, we often have like R, for example, or we have SPSS or SAS models, right? So here you would have, uh, I can do a little stick figure maybe for the data scientist. Um, hey, he needs a crone, you know, <laughs> because it's the new it's a new king in the data world, right? Okay, you got the crown <laughs> going, yeah. Nah, and a big brain, so I mean, right, th this exactly. is really the art form, you know, exploring data, building models, and, and this is... This is the most complex part of it. You have data, you're trying to explore it, you build a certain model. And then on the other extreme, you have um, your different database uh, platforms, for example. So you have um, database platforms, you have maybe Hadoop next to it, or you have something like real time or cloud. Uh, Let's do cloud, maybe. Uh, just different, different platforms. And then what, what, what databases do you guys support? Um, or run in or run off. Or yeah. So typically, um, uh, your your data warehouse um, appliances that are massively parallel, uh, similar to Hadoop, but you know more structured in like in a Netiza. Yeah. So you have Netiza. You have uh, Teradata, Teradata Aster, Greenplum, Sybase IQ, um, and, and and you guys integrate with all of them. Yes, we integrate with all. Oh, of that's them. really cool. So, so the the fun part is that here you can leverage. Um, Kind of the existing infrastructure, like uh, on on massively parallel execution. So you have many nodes on the database, uh, where, uh, on the data warehouse. You have many nodes on your Hadoop uh, platform, where we integrate with uh, DataMere, of course, and then uh, Hive. Um, and on the cloud, you can have many different uh, servers serving you know requests. Well, this is more of a real time application. Then, mm -hmm. um, so you have you know a different different target platforms that you can uh, deploy your. Your, your models to. So the glue in between is really the standard that we use, PMML. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's the key aspect of it. PMML Is that an ISO standard or is it, what is that? It's an it's industry a, standard. Okay. So it is really okay. developed by vendors. So okay. it's, it's mm -hmm. driven by vendors. Uh, R you know, yeah. is, of course, an open source tool, but SPSS, SAS, uh, all the big guys are, are part of that. Uh, SPSS now, of course, being part of um, IBM. Uh, but the idea is to move models that you develop on the left side very seamlessly over to the right side mm -hmm. and not being locked into a single vendor, not being locked into a single platform. So right. you can take your choices here, find the best uh, data scientist you can find, right. not necessarily free limiting. Free of tool choice. Yeah. Free of tool choice. Or you know, pick, uh, you, know, you build your decision tree in R, you build your neural network in SPSS, take oh, okay. your choices, and then combine all of those models onto your uh, operational platforms.